So he was, uh, she taught me so many naughty words in Tamil <laughs> and would make me say them to all the different people that understood Tamil <laughs> in our bubble. I felt like the little kid that was being taught the nerdy, naughty words in the schoolyard. You know, when um, I came to Australia for the first time, like growing up in India, the image we had of Australia is like always on the field, you know, playing hard. You had Ricky Ponting, Matthew Hayden, giving it everything. And I go to Australia and I see that you guys are really chilled out. I mean, it, it, it was so chilled out that I was so surprised. And, you know, what is it about Aussies and sport? Because I'll tell you a story. This was in Sydney and I think you were there during the semi-final in 2015. So when the Aussie yes. team was practicing and this this old man just walked by me and I'm like, he looks familiar. And I'm like, okay, must be some old test cricketer. I go up and my friend says, oh, do you know who you walked by? You walked by Bob Hawk. And like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> the former PM just walked by in a country like Australia and I had no idea. So what's it about Aussies and sport that someone like a Bob Hawk just walks into the ground and talks to the players and chugs a chugs of you as well for Canada. <laughs> What's it about Australia and sport like? One word, mateship. Yeah. That's all it comes down to. Our entire culture is based around mateship. Um, and I'd like to think, you know, with, with the COVID situation and everyone's dealing with it around the world in obviously varying degrees and, and, and my heart aches for India and what they're going through. But last year in Victoria, you know, we were confronted with, ongoing lockdown you know that just kept going and going and going and um and I think one of the things that got us through is mateship it's looking after one another it's caring about each other it is that competitive spirit of we can do this if we do this together we can do this and I think that's something that it's definitely not unique to Australia but I think it's something that we hold with such pride um and so sport is the epitome of of that competitive um, sort of nature. But at the end of the day, it's all about mateship. It's about doing the right thing, um, you know, going as hard as you can on the field, but then having a beer off it and shaking hands afterwards. And that's one of the reasons why we love the IPL, right? I feel like it's really bridged those cultural gaps between different nations that, you know, those fierce rivalries exist on, you know, in the test circuit still, but behind the scenes, they're great mates because they've played with each other in the IPL. They've actually gotten to know each other and broken down those cultural barriers and realised, oh, we're actually kind of all just the same. Um, and once again, that word mateship comes into it. And yeah, I keep coming back to this IPL, but the the, the kindness and compassion that, that all my Indian colleagues kept showing me and the mateship that they showed me when all of, all of you guys were going through so much more than what I can ever imagine yet people were reaching out to me and making sure I was okay. Like, that's just beautiful. So I don't think, as I say, it's anything unique to Australia, um, but I do think culturally mateship is just the, the number one thing that we sort of hang our hats on. Yeah, it's just the way of expressing it is different. And uh, on that note, uh, when all your friends from India have been interacting with you, one of the things Indians love doing when a foreigner comes around is to get them to speak Hindi or some <laughs> language and teach them a few words. Now, some of them, you cannot use it on a family show, but I hope you learned some of the better words from your friends here. <laughs> it's so funny you say that because Bhavna, the one that gave me the sari as well, who was uh, she taught me so many naughty words in Tamil <laughs> and would make me say them to all the different people that understood Tamil <laughs> in our bubble. I felt like the little kid that was being taught the nerdy naughty words in the schoolyard, um, which made everyone laugh a lot. But I was like, oops. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> but, that's a very common trick. Let me tell you, everybody <laughs> does that in this country. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I was I was definitely I won't repeat them here I definitely won't repeat them on camera um but it made a few people laugh and I guess in those sort of situations the more that you can make people laugh the better right um but yeah a lot of my colleagues taught me a few few different Tamil and uh Hindi phrases and words and um yeah that was really good fun as well it's also you get to a point where it's hard not to um mimic people when you're around them not in a um derogatory way just because you're around people yeah. so often that you just end up saying ticket ticket 
Yeah. Pick it. <laughs> I had a producer last year at Star Sports, Raggedy, who, when she was on the phone in particular, she go, ah, 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 ticket, ticket, ah. Ticket. <laughs> we just all would then start having phone calls exactly like that because she was the warmest, loveliest person. But on the phone, she was just like, all right, off you go. <laughs> yeah. 